Hi all and uh, welcome back to my channel and today I am doing a uh, accessories and a stash video for diamond painting. So uh, first off we're going to start with this. This is my portfolio bag. Uh, it is uh, where I keep both the uh, most of my finished uh, diamond paintings that fit into here as well as uh, my unfinished time paintings that don't have uh, boxes and or tubes for them. Uh, so they either came like from Amazon so they're like rolled up in that, like little plastic bags or they came uh, from like other companies that direct from sh uh, suppliers and they came like all together. So, um, so it's a three pocket bag. There's this small one where I keep my small finished diamond paintings. The middle one currently is where I keep all my uh, unfinished and or I have one whip in here because it's like a travel whip. Uh, and then the top one is where I keep all my finished bigger kits. Uh, but there are a few that are just too big for this bag and they, them I just keep in their original boxes. Uh, so yeah, this is my storage bag and let me go ahead and pick this up and we'll get into uh, my actual uh, diamond painting gem storage container. So first we have uh, three different sizes of um, the Art Dot storage containers. So this one you see right here in the screen now is the biggest one. This is a, the 420 uh, container set. So uh, there are two compartments. This first compartment uh, is all by itself and so it's just a single set of uh, these containers. In the pocket we have the standard toolkit that they send along, along with. So we have the toolkit they send along, uh, a funnel, and then some of the little stickers which are coming off. And then, so then on the bottom, which I need to raise up this So there are uh, another two rows of these. So we have one here and then you lift it up. And then there's another row below. So each one of these has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's 140 uh, cases per row, which for the three rows then makes it 420. So yeah. And next biggest we have from our thought is we have there is a 240 I did not have it but I have the 120 here um, so this is a kit obviously that I'm already using this is a 120 so it's a uh, 6 by 10 across so 60 on each level uh, there's two levels there have two of these. These are the 60 uh, art dot containers. So um, I just open uh, the one. So just go ahead and open this one. Maybe. So this one, oh yeah, I need to put that anyway. So uh, this container has just 60, so it's just a single layer. And this works perfect for uh, smaller kits. Um, this one is actually for Mr. Whiskers. Um, stickers right here. And then has the toolkit, etc. Um, the only thing I added were, instead of like the cheap plastic uh, tweezers, I added a pair of metal tweezers into the kit. I have those. 
Okay, so next I have my Elizabeth Ward trays. I'm just going to show you a couple of them. So these are modular uh, systems. So there are four different size of little um, containers. This is what's called the tiny container. This next size is the small. Let's see, this is a medium. And this is a large. So you can use, depending on how many drills you get, you can use different size containers. And I always try to match it close, close it closest to the amount I need without going uh, into a second container if possible. So this is uh, actually for my plastic conversion. Um, Dim their freezers and then this actually will go with another set here. I will stick them right here so I don't lose them. But yes, so this is, uh, so sometimes I only like they need more than one, but not fully two. So then I often keep tools and stuff in the second. Yeah, those, um, these, I have five of these containers. Next, I have uh, my most recent kit. This is another bottle storage container. But it comes with a bunch of extra stuff as well, which I will get into. So here, it, it, this is a 108 bottle container. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve by twelve. So yeah, that's uh, this. These containers, I think, are just slightly, slightly smaller than the ones from Art Drop, but they're still the standard uh, tall uh, bottle. Uh, with that, I will get into this side. So this is where it differs from the Art Drop. There. So um, this one comes with slightly different stuff. So it comes with this. Uh, 5D diamond art accessories and toolkit. So first off, it comes with your own like A4 light pad. So this is what I will use to travel. This case here will be what I will use to travel. Um, so it has an A4 light pad, 108 storage containers. I love the fact that it is actually in green. Let's see, we have a few sticker sheets, they're round since the bo they're bottle stickers. So that's really nice. Uh, let's see. Then we have this, that's like basically everything, like usage, easy operation, um, and then what's actually included in the kit and the precautions they would like you to take. And then a little bit about the light board down here. So it comes with a um, chart, a cable for charging. Uh, the light board. Looks, and then it comes with a straightener along with clips for the light board. Okay, and then it comes with uh, a, a leaf-shaped drill tray, double drill tray, so there it can be either side, there are lines on both sides. Um, and then it comes with uh, four pens with different multi-placers on it and a straightener. So this one has a straightener and it has an angled uh, plastic single tip. And then this one has like a three placer with an angled plastic single tip. And then each come with uh, matching grips. And then these two have 
the traditional straight placer with the multi placer there, the thicker multi placers. And then uh, this one has a slightly smaller one with a single straight multi placer. Uh, and then each also comes with um, little matching waxes to color coordinated and there are three pads in each uh, little container here so yeah and then finally there is a set of uh, plastic pink tweezers they will do in a pinch I prefer uh, metal tweezers so I will probably exchange that and also I will probably get some putty as well but yes this is like a perfect um or not get stick in some putty as well uh, but this is like a perfect travel kit because it comes with everything you need including the whiteboard so uh get this back so i have um two sets of these little uh 28 container uh storage thing so each row has four there are seven rows so that's 28 and they're just like these uh containers so they hold small quantities so they're good for like little projects like i mainly use them for like off canvas projects i mean you can also use them for a small like regular like cheaper diamond paintings or if you have like a kit a very small kit that has like a limited number of colors you could totally use them for that um so they're convenient to have just for like little projects and then um this is another art pot product uh these are just like small uh tic tac containers so with these they're super small you have a lid there and also you can pull these out pretty easily uh and some of them do actually have numbers on them very tiny right there. uh to get drills in and out of them i have these cute little funnels so you just can take them and stick the funnel straight in here and they're like so I have these cute little funnels and then you can just put the right in through there and it's like the perfect size um so yeah i have these cute little funnels i have three of them one in clear and then blue and pink so yeah i have those little funnels for uh the little tic tac containers and others and also they work pretty well on the other little small ones i just showed but yeah, so um, the reason I have this is actually for these small ones because the jar bottle ones and the Elizabeth wards, the regular funnels work just fine. It's just these need smaller funnels, so I have smaller funnels. Show my wax and putty and whatnot collection. So first off, obviously, have a lot of uh, various uh, red slash pink waxes. Uh, uh, I have a lot more than this. This is just like that out show. So like, uh, this is more pink. This is actually more uh, red and less translucent. So I like that better. Um, I know it's in a red bag, but it is actually when you take it out red as well. Um, other red wax. Obviously, we have the red wax that come into heart. Uh, containers from Diamond Art Club. I have several of these just on hand in case I feel like giving wax. I usually do not because I now have graduated to other things, but those are just some of your uh, basic options. Next, we have these. And this is what I use now in my single placer. Uh, these are uh, glue dots. They're the micro glue dots. So they're the three mil millimeter glue dot and they have 325 per box i am still on my first box which i think you saw in one of the uh, storage containers that i showed you next up i had this 
these are, uh, this is blue tack. Blue tack is obviously just a form of a uh, tack that's a uh, blue. This is actually a pretty light blue, so it's not like outrageously, so that like when, if it gets stuck on um, painting, it's not like a huge deal, but it's, I'm not sure if the white's gray or the light's gray wash it out or not, but it's more of like gray, almost a gray blue in this case. But there are many different kinds of uh, blue tack. This is just one I picked up off of Amazon, and I use this uh, sometimes as putty. Uh, but then I got into some sort of putty, which I'll get into just a little while from now. Also, I should mention there are multiple colors of wax, as you saw in that uh, one storage container that I had, but this is more uh, purple wax. So they're instead of just so they're just like purple instead of um like red, which is the most common, or like as you saw in there, multicolored wax. Um, so then other wax uh, options that I have in uh, for like the single places or primary where you use wax, I uh, would have this super sticky uh. Patty Wax Super Sticky uh, Wax. So this is just a small sample. I've used this a fair amount. This, you have to be super careful and it will take up the coating on AB, so I don't use that for ABs. However, there are uh, just regular uh, Patty Wax. And uh, so I have two samples here. Is it showing? Mm, yeah, there we go. And let's see, this one is pink grapefruit and vanilla. And then this one is Mrs. Claus cookies. And then I got this full bar. This is a uh, winter candy apple. And then the other one. Okay, so the other form of wax I have is by Randa's Crafty Corner, and it is a vanilla spice organic scented wax, and it just comes in a little container like this, and there's the wax. And then, okay, so now we're on to the rest of my putties. Sorry, I got a little out of order there. Uh, so first I have these. These are um, some putties. So uh, this is from, let me see if I can remember the name of the company. I actually have to stick that in here because I think it's Diamond Art Supply from, it's an Etsy shop. So this one is Cotton Candy. So it's super cute. And if you look, there's a little, not sure it's showing. There's a little um, charm in it that's a little like cloud with a, a little rainbow thing flying behind him. It, whatever. I guess clouds aren't gendered, but whatever. Uh, so there's that one. And this one is pineapple. And there's a little. I want to say that's a bear. It could be a dog or fox or something, but a little charm in it as well. And then there's this one, which is maple syrup pancakes. And then there's, it's either like a dog or a fox or something. I think it's a dog though. It's that one. Okay, so for the rest of my putty, they're all in like little bat, uh, bags. So we have um, four more putty shops. So 
So first we have a uh, butterfly effect wears putty, a uh, dot dot putty. So we have the lucky birthday. And then we have Be Mine. So they're both from recent releases. One's from when I got my uh, birthday pen, and then the other one was when I got the Valentine's Day pen. I got them added on because I wanted to try their putty. Next, this is the one I have the most of. This is uh, Randa's Crafty Corner. Okay, so we have a uh, sweet coconut we have a uh, vanilla cupcake we have white peach we have sweet apple we have vanilla spice we have candied walnut and we have Spiced milk. Next, we have a uh, this is Crafty Creation Putty. I, this is also an Etsy store. I haven't actually looked to see if they're still in business, but in any case, this is Pink Lemonade. Uh, exotic Jasmine. And Eucalyptus. And Sweet Apple. And then this, this is Merry Mud. I think the shop is still on a break, but I could be wrong. It's an Etsy shop as well. This is Lemon Chiffon. Grape Soda. Cucumber Melon. And Lavender. So uh, that's, this is all of my, uh, like wax and putty and dots and stuff. Um, so yeah, let me grab, let me quickly uh, get this off to the side. Okay, next we will go ahead and do my release paper. So first off we have this size. So this is like, I'd say probably a half sheet of paper size. So what's that? Uh, eight and a half by five and a half. So I guess that's about the size of this here. And I have uh, these, which are just cheap ones from Amazon. Um, sorry for this. But they're these. So they're super thin and I think they might be double-sided. Um, but they could be wrong. And these are uh, 5.9 by 3.9 inches. And then I have this, which is uh, from the uh, Diamond Art Club Advent Calendar this year. And the there are 100 pieces of 4x4. Four four, and I will show you the design. So these, this is the design of this, and then um, this is the side you stick to the canvas, this is the side that stays up, obviously. Uh, so yeah, super pretty. Um, I usually do about half this size for uh, paintings, so, um, but I can use these for like probably round paintings that I decide to put release paper on. I put it to about 50-50 release paper and then just using the um, what, uh, the plastic covering together and, uh, and washi tape. Um, so these are next. So this, uh, these are all my uh, other uh, release papers and these are all by um, 
uh, crafts with Crashleys. So first we have the literate um, felines and uh, let's see. Oh, better yet, this is what it looks like. Um, oh, let's see if there's a way to do Okay, no, there's... Okay, there we go, that's better. So that's that one. Okay, next is the playful kitties. Kittens. And that's what that one looks like. And then we have the froggies. And then reading dragons. There's a good thing. And then um, colorful horses. Dragon wings, sorry. And then finally, I have sea turtles. We'll go ahead and do um, cover minders. I keep all my cover minders on this metal uh, container that I store a bunch of my uh, diamond painting accessories in. Um, so we'll go ahead and hold this up. So first we have uh, the four we got from the Diamond Art Club Advent Calendar this year. We actually have four shelves of working uh, right in here. So we have four, we have four shelves. These I got off of Amazon. This, 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 uh, I got, um, on that, I got, from uh, an Etsy shop. I cannot remember which one. I am so sorry. I think it's might have been. I don't remember. I'll figure that out. But um, then these are all like uh, the stuff that you get, the cover miners that you get like with uh, free with orders. Um, like that one, all these, that little guy. And then the, these two came with the Oraloa kit, are in, like, just with the orders, not in the kits. Um, and then, let's see, the this one, this one, and this one 
uh, those all came with, um, all right, those are all I got with uh, my most recent order from Diamond Art Supply on Etsy. And the, those two, these, uh, those and that uh, are all from Diamond Art Club boxes. So these are only the ones I have from the open Diamond Art Club boxes. I keep them with the kits until I open the box and do the paintings. So yeah, that's um, current my current uh, cover minder stash. This one here is definitely one of my favorites. Um, this uh, this guy didn't move me right now. Yeah, and then uh, also love the little cloud and the kitten ones. So yeah, um, those are my cover minders. And I'll go ahead and do the trays next. Okay, so first we have your basic green tray. This is just the tray you get with any of the like the cheaper uh, starting kits. Then we have this, which is one you get in all the art dot kits. Uh, all the art dot, I mean uh, storage container kits. Uh, so it's a decent sized tray. But no. Uh, Diamond Art Club also has uh, trays, but I did not grab one. So those are just our kind of basic trays, just want to put those in. Um, next are your sort of step up. Uh, let's see. So we have... Uh, Two of these kinds of trays. This one uh, is one that you just slide this out, and that's how you can get drills in and out easily. Um, so you can choose how far up you want that to be, or down all the way, or you can just pull it out all the way. So yeah, there, that's how that one works. And then this one, actually I got in the Darren Art Club uh, Advent Calendar. And it is one that just pops in and out, closed, open. Yeah, so that's that size. And then um, there are these two, which I got from Diamond Painters Anonymous. Uh, she's doing her own trays. And uh, she was very generous and uh, gave these to me uh, for supporting her and her channel. So we have this one, which is a little turtle. And it has, it's winged out. Uh, and also the little feet have not a lot of little gems on too. And then this is a cat. And then this is my one and only mini made tray. I am on the wait list. I'm like 76 on the wait list for uh, being able to do my custom order. Uh, so this is a larger size. And this one I got with a kit that I ordered. So that was the way I got this one. So it has a lid and then the stopper. And then this is the bigger tree. I like this one a lot as well. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting down to the point where I can order some. Uh, let's see. And then my biggest collection here. These are all um, cat-proof trays. So uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and show you these quickly. This one is like what they consider a set of three trays. So this is like, let's see what's, so this is a fine boy. And this is a gold color. And then
This is a lean boy. So this is the size that I generally use. This is the middle size. And they come with these cute little ones, which I use for uh, this one since it has a lid as a um, drill uh, collector, like for like the odd ones or the misshaped ones or whatever. And this size is like the kitten, a kitten. So those are those three sizes. And the one kit I have, full set. And this is this is the final way. This is the same size as this one. Yeah, for fine boy size. Okay, so this is another fine boy. It is just like a translucent uh, white color. And then this is my last fine boy. And this is like the purple color. Uh, there is a slight shift. And then I have a lot of this size, which is the lean boy. So this is the mi middle size. Um, first I have a purple. deeper like an indigo then I have a gray and this one is really cool it's like a mint and to purple shift. I really like that. I'm not sure I'm picking it up well in the camera, but hopefully it is. And then also another shifty one. This is sort of more of a purple to a pinky. Uh, there's one. Sorry, there's a cover minder floating around because I put it back because it's one that I use. But yeah, so here are all but the um the which I'm sure you've all seen uh trays that I have. So yeah, let's go ahead and clean this and can buy it into um pens and then everything else. So, so um, here's the first set of pens. But first off I have uh these metal tips. And these are screw metal tips. So some of these pens, you can screw the tips in. Um, and others, you just push in. This. Bag has a little, uh, like, things that you put in the regular tips to keep them, or put on, uh, to keep them snug in place. Get the little rings, the little rubber rings. And then this bag has all my plastic tips um, as well. So I have a complete set from like 1 to 12 or maybe even 15 in here. And then all the like extra plastic single, plastic with the brass single tips and all the multi placing tips in this bag if you can feel it. But more importantly, these are. Um, pens that are in this box. So first off, these five, six, six are um, all Amazon. So I think three of them are screw tip and three are just the kind that you push in normally. So this is like one of the normal ones that you just pull and push out. And those are the little rings that I have, the little rubber rings I have. Um, so I have a green, two pinks, two fuchsia purple. I don't know what you call that. And then one blue of these. Um, this is also one that you just pull in out. And this is, I think, this one. No, that's a twist. I lied. Let's see one of these then. 
Um, no, actually, I guess I only have two that are that style of these four. And then these four are all um, the kind that you twist. So these are the screw and ones I was just talking about. So, um, and then these three here I got from um, Diamond Painting Companies. This one was in my uh, Diamond Art Club advent calendar. This one is uh, was from uh, the one with mm, yeah the one with the diamond art. Uh, and then this one was with an art from Diamond Art Love. I left there are a few more uh, screw in metal places as well. So these are the rest of my metal tips that uh, for that don't need to be screwed in. Uh, you'll see a bunch in the uh, pen that I'm going to show you as well. Okay, so first off, this one is from an Abler's Outpost. This one is from uh, Leopard Leather Works. This one is from Lason Lathe Works or Lason Lathe Works, not sure which. Okay, and then the next, uh, I have three of each of three different pen companies. So this is the first set. These are from um, Jim's Hand Turned uh, Diamond Painting Pens on Etsy. Uh, so first we have this uh, blue one. And then we have this, uh, it's a purple, uh, white, and black. And we have this, uh, like, green and purple one. Okay, and then next we have three from O'Brien's Custom uh, Pens. First one is uh, like has like glitter and it's a rainbow type. This next one is also beautiful. It's a uh, like a aqua or teal. I can't remember which, and uh, like a. Sort of purpley, pinky type color. I'm super good with colors, uh, as you can tell. And then there's this like peachy uh, uh, one as well. Not sure if the light's helping or hurting this particular one. Oh, didn't need to do that at all. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, there's that one. Okay. Okay, and then finally I have three from uh, Butterfly Effect Wears. So first I have this one, which was I think part of a Halloween collection. About a year ago. Not like this past Halloween, but after that. And then uh, the next one 
next two are recent ones from Butterfly Effect Wears. So first is from the Birthday Collection. Really love this one, it's beautiful. It's the one I'm currently using. And then we have this one from the Valentine's Collection. Oh, so beautiful. Or I guess it's part of the Be Mine collection. I'm not quite sure, but yeah. So yeah, uh, those are all of the uh, customer hand-turned pens that I have. And you can, you best be sure I will be getting more of those just that uh, haven't yet. And uh, I have a bunch of washi tape. So this washi tape, this, most of this came from Amazon. There's some mixed in that are, um, I mean, there are some that are mixed in that are from Brown.com, but most of it's from Amazon. So this stuff I got really doesn't work. So I now use it strictly for uh, sticking uh, to keeping pens, in, uh, the pen tips in place if they don't want to stay in, especially the kinds that are screw tops or screw ins. So yeah, that's what this set is for. Okay, then I will do, this is the um, Diamond Art Club uh, washi that came in the advent calendar. So there are those three. There are those three. They do have plastic on it, so there's probably a glare. Okay, and see next is let's see some skinny gold foil DIY ones that are um here this i it's in this box this i use uh primarily for like sectioning uh when i use just the covers um and this one is um all animal themed it's what's called cute washi tape uh so yeah these so it comes in this cute little box, first off. And, and so there are the washi tapes. So there are two rolls of the, two sets of the thicker rolls. So it's one. And then there's one set of the thinner rolls. This is the, the thinner set. And then here's the other thicker set. So those are super cute. They're all animal themed. Okay, then we have um, another box. And this is... So this is super fancy. It comes with like ribbons. I just untied the ribbon so I can open the box. Has a little thank you thing. This is the gift uh, B collector sets. I have another card like this from the other box. So this is all thinner, not super thin, but thinner uh, tape. And let's see if we can do this. So there are all the designs that. And then this is the same company. And it's a three row set and they're all the thicker, the regular. And this is why I put around the borders of canvases for the most part. So yeah, that's that whole set. These are both got off of Amazon, but they're really good quality and I like them. Okay, and so this is where the majority of the rest of my uh, stuff is. I took them out of boxes for a while. So 
on top we have like a whole bunch of thin stuff and, and medium stuff so let's see so here's a whole bunch of the thin stuff some more and there's a bunch oh here's some more of the thin stuff as well and then I have a bunch of this sort of uh, medium thickness stuff as well another couple there's another thin one And let's see, it's another thin one. And then here are some more of the medium stuff. And then the rest is all thicker stuff. Um, some of this came in um, boxes with Diamond Art Club or like craftably or whatever, but most of it is uh, various kits that I just put in the box. Uh, sets they put in the box. So like we have like some astrology ones, some Christmas ones, um, some more floral springy type ones. Yeah, but that's what's in here. It starts in a washi tape. So yeah, um, I have, as you can see, an overabundance of washi because I use it, as I said, for half my canvases. And the large, like Diamond Art Club canvases, can take like three or four of these uh, to use at one time. So that's why I have so much. And I like it. So, yeah. so that is um, my uh, washi tape. So this is uh, my extra gem storage at uh, Evolution. So first I started with the, just these little um, envelopes, but they're only single use and you can't really add more if you seal them and they don't see through, so they just aren't super helpful. So they got the storage actually pretty quickly. Next, I was going to just like this style of bag, clear bag, but these are super flimsy and uh, so I don't like them very much. So I'll use them if, I, if I'm out of the next one, but that's about it. Or if I'm sending them to someone or something, I do use these. Um, but these are what I currently use. So they're um, nice and thick and nice and uh, but still flexible. They have one side that you can like write on or stick a sticker on this white side and then on this back side it's totally clear. So those, oops, sorry for bumping you. So these are what I currently use. This I use um, for like paint gem storage uh, kit, so paint gem storage kits. So I have this. And then I mount them on this black paper here, and uh, they go in this book. I mount them with a uh, double-sided adhesive, which I'll show you in a little bit. These are just labels I use to label boxes and stuff that I store stuff in. They're uh, multi-use labels, so they do peel off. So these are, um, so I have more, many sticks, or not sticks, pages of these but they're mostly in boxes already with my spare drills so these are all the dmc numbers just on stickers and then these are the labels that come with all my elizabeth ward containers and they're removable bonus or uh, yeah bonus labels is what they call them so you can label each of your little pots with what uh, pots with what they are and put them in here so, um, also duct tape, use a lot of this to fix the boxes, or like if you cut through a canvas, you can put it on the back side to hold it, uh, but yeah, keep a lot of this around. And obviously scissors as well. So, um, 
first. I did lose the, or I'll probably find it in a little bit here, but I don't know where it is right now. Uh, this, these go with my two little vacuums. So I have two of the little vacuums. Um, and then they come with a little attachment. So this has a little uh, thing, a little uh, thing to make it easier to soak them up. And you just go uh, um, This is my backup. This one doesn't have batteries or anything in it. And these are the two things that go with it. So it does come with a little brush as well. If I don't know where the brush is to this one, I had it. I just got it out and then since I'm like swapping a whole bunch of stuff out, I have no clue where it actually landed. Um, but yeah, so I have two little vacuums with the attachment. And then I guess we'll go with it. This is my uh, bigger... Uh, uh, light pad. So this is an A3 size. This is the Art Bot brand. And then I have a cutting tray. So if I want to like cut the edges off around the uh, diamond painting, I can. I use this. And uh, there are two like guide. Uh, rulers that you can use as well to help with the cutting process. Uh, the light pad back and forth has a stand, and these are the stands so you can set it and get an angle to uh, do your crafting or whatever. With. So to, in order to like write on the black um, note uh, portfolio that I showed you earlier um, that for the paint gems, I have a gold and silver uh, pen. And then I also have the full rainbow plus black and uh, brown of the fine tip sharpies uh, to write on labels and stuff with. And I keep it in this little, or little bag that I got in one of my orders. Keep those. So then uh, I have Gugan. So if any of my labels aren't the removable labels or don't come off easily, I have this to help get them off. Uh, I have this, which is actually a pill crusher uh, to separate drills. So you basically unscrew it, stick any drill, like stuck together drills in here, screw it back on, and then just go back and forth until they break up. I have a roller brush, uh, a roller uh, yeah, to uh, flatten out and make sure that all the diamonds stick to a canvas. Uh, I have a sealant and glue along with brushes to help apply. So the sealant does have like a little uh, have a little uh, sponge applicator, but um, brushes help get it into all the cracks and make sure it cover and crevices to make sure that uh, it's totally sealed. I only seal special projects. Uh, I have yet to need to seal any diamond painting, uh, budget friendly or not. Um, and with like the major companies, if you seal them, you usually avoid the warranty. So I won't do that with any of the um, like 
uh, premium companies. I do, however, have this uh, Diamond Art Club Diamond Painting Adhesive. I know that Diamond Dots also has a, their own adhesive, but if you get a canvas that uh, doesn't have enough stick, you can just use this. And it came with this little applicator. So yeah, um, that's my glue situation. Let's see what situation. I have two ceramic tipped uh, pens. They're just super cheap off of Amazon. Pointy thing up here. And then uh, this one is actually a dual thing. This has scissors. So and then also a ceramic tip on this side. So yeah, so those are my ceramic blades and scissor combo. So these are all uh, little bags that the pen, some of my uh, custom pens came in. Um, also have a uh, grill uh, and small sizes because they dry out or come on these little balls of the grill just to get them for using it for others. A um, couple regular pens just for writing stuff as needed. Uh, a USB to a USB C connector because my computer uses only USB C, so if I want to plug into my computer. I uh, have a couple of these uh, tape measures along with a regular, uh, like just general tape measures. And it's like, no. uh, in here, I do have some random cheap uh, pens, just the plastic, standard plastic ones. Um, and then more stickers than God knows what to do with and uh, business cards from all the companies. So, yeah. Let's see. I just some all this stuff in here and then I'll deal with it. Later. So that's that. And then not mistaken this might be the final box and then I have two other things that I will show you this uh, so I have this is the box of double sided adhesives I use for uh, sticking the little paint gems onto stuff among other things they just come like you know those white out things are just sort of like in those type of containers but yeah so those are what those are this is my double sided adhesive uh, and then these are the two cutting tools. They each come with uh, spare blades. And then also these are clips for the pink board as well. Um, so yeah, I have those. And these are just a box of magnets. So if I want my covers binders, I can. <coughs> they just come in like a roll here. Just use some glue. I saw the Gorilla Glue and then some magnets to whatever and you make a cover binder. Um, so I do have a, a Zyron sticker maker, or label maker. So you just stick the labels that uh, you photocopied or whatever that don't aren't uh, like actually on sticker paper in through here, through here. And then you pull it down from here and then it makes stickers as they come through. So that is uh, really sweet and um, Glad I have this. So I have, so this is uh, the permanent tape, but I have this one plus three other uh, boxes of the repositionable uh, tape, which is super hard to find on Amazon, but if you're patient, you can find it. 
Um, so yeah, that is this box. So um, the two final things I wanted to show you were, are actually apps. Um, okay, so the first app I wanted to show you is uh, an app called A Gems Flow. So this is where I uh, keep all of my uh, information about all my diamond painting kits. Uh, not my off canvas, only my regular uh, on canvas kits. So uh, here are all the kits that I have yet to do. Up above, there would be a section that's not received, but I don't have any kits not received right now. And there's a section called started. So those are my whips. And then these are the completed section. So yeah, this is uh, Gem Slow. Like, so if I go into a kit, it says the name of the kit. I also put the author or the uh, artist, sorry. And then um, all the imp important information like uh, size, uh, number of colors, the amount I spent on it, where it's from, what type of drill is round or square, whether it's a full drill or a partial drill, the date I ordered, the date I received, and then also there's a line for a date started and date completed, um, and then any notes that I have. Like, I always put, like, the number of special drills and what type of special drills they are, and then the total number of drills if that's available. So, yeah, that's what uh, Pattern Keeper... I'm not sorry, this is a gem slow, sorry. Next, I'm going to show you Pattern Keeper, though. So, um, this Pattern Keeper is only available in the Android uh, or Google Play Store site. So I have, I got a cheap other tablet that I run Pattern Keeper off of. So here is my tablet. The Pattern Keeper app is right here. Oh, here. So this is Pattern Keeper. So it has all the uh, cross-stitch conversion charts I bought. Uh, and so this is the one I'm currently working on. I will not, I can't show you the whole kit, but I can show you a pattern, but I can just show you a little bit. So this is the app. So like if I wanted to zoom in or out, I can right now, but I actually have it set the way I like it because I do uh, four sections down uh, and then I can search for a symbol. So say I want to find all of those I can. Then when I'm done, you can highlight them and then check them off as done. I'm not going to do that right now. You can also uncheck them if you want to. So that's other programs showing up. But for these, you can literally just go through and DMC order, which is how I kit up, which is that set of uh, Elizabeth Ward trays you saw. And you can just go through and see, because they'll highlight green if you have any in your sections. And they won't if you don't. So you just go through and check all those. and. Put, place them on, you count, it's counted. So it's like counted cross stitch just in diamond painting form. So um, yeah, this that's how you do all my cross stitch conversions and that's the app I use. Um, there is another app, I can't remember what it's called, but it's um, one that you can use on like Apple devices that's uh, people like, um, oh, I will, if I remember, put a little pop up or put link it in the description. Uh, I'm not very good at linking anything in the description, so I don't expect that, but I hopefully will put it in a pop-up if I remember. So in any case, um, I think that is truly it for my uh, diamond painting collection, uh, accessories and tools collection. Um, let me know what you guys use and what you guys have and uh, whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so I hope to see you in another video. Bye!